After completing this lesson, you'll be able to explain the need for business analytics, discuss different types of business analytics, discuss business analytics case studies, and explain the importance of data science. The last two decades have witnessed extensive business infrastructure investments. Due to this, the capability of collecting data has improved across enterprises. While some businesses continue to operate in their traditional ways, in other businesses, each aspect is now virtually open to collect data. These aspects are even instrumented for data collection. Aspects like supply chain management, marketing campaign performance, manufacturing, operations, and workflow procedures are a few examples. Simultaneously, information is also available on events like industry news, market trends, and movements of competitors. The wide availability of data has led to increasing interest in methods to extract useful information from data science. With this data availability, organizations in almost each industry are focused to exploit data for their advantage over competitors. Earlier, organizations used to employ different teams of analysts, modelers, and statisticians for manually exploring datasets. However, now the variety and volume of data have outstripped the manual analysis capacity. Computers have also become powerful, and networking has become widespread. Also, algorithms are being developed that can help connecting various databases to allow powerful data analysis. As a result of all these phenomena, various data science principles and data mining techniques are coming into existence. A manager in an organization needs to take several decisions on the basis of the problem and alternative courses of action available. To conclude the best option, they need all the information that is relevant and the criterion to choose the best option. Here is a set of questions that can be important for any business executive. Some other interesting questions that could be important to business executives are also listed on the screen. Let's first understand what business analytics is. It's a scientific process that transforms data into insight. It takes data from various sources and various types and convert them into insights that improve, support, and automate decisions. The techniques used for this process are presentation, technological, and quantitative. In other words, it's a process that uses data for better decision-making. It's used for fact-based or data-driven decision-making. This is generally considered as more objective as compared to other decision-making alternatives. Business analytics uses simple tools such as reports and graphs, and also complex tools such as optimization, data mining, and simulation. In the graph shown on the screen, we've compared different data analytics techniques in terms of competitive advantage and degree of complexity. Prescriptive analytics offers the most competitive advantage over other techniques, such as descriptive and predictive. However, performing prescriptive analytics is the most complex data analytical technique. We'll look into details of each of these techniques in the subsequent screens. Let's now talk about the features of Business Analytics, or BA. The first important feature is the support to various methodologies. These include concepts from applied probability, applied mathematics, applied statistics, and computer science. Since it's used by organizations that are committed to data-driven decision-making, the data produced helps in gaining meaningful insights into better business planning and business performance. The next important feature is decision support systems. In data-driven companies, data is treated as a corporate asset. Successful analytics is dependent upon the quality of data and analysts who know the business and technologies. Solutions are primarily used as decision support systems or as their components. The solutions help executives, salespeople, and other organizational leaders to make business decisions. Another important feature of business analytics is business continuity support as business analytics supports essential business functions and also supports tactical decision-making with respect to unforeseen events. It also aids in functions such as hiring, reducing attrition, improving retention, performing staff deployment, and deciding strategy. In many cases, decision-making is automated for supporting responses in real time. This lesson will help you understand the concepts related to different types of business analytics, such as descriptive analytics, predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics, supply chain analytics, healthcare analytics, marketing analytics, human resource analytics, and web analytics. Descriptive analytics analyzes the past events and predicts the approach of future. 
It analyzes the past performance by mining the past data and look for the reasons why past failures or successes happen. Almost all management reporting, such as finance, operations, marketing, and sales, uses this analytics. The related models quantify data relationships in a manner that is generally used for the classification of customers and prospects into various groups. For instance, these models can be used to classify customers on the basis of their preferences and life stages. They can be used to create further models that can make predictions and can stimulate various individualized agents. Some of the data techniques used by this analytics includes reports, data mining techniques, descriptive statistics, data queries, data dashboards, and basic what-if spreadsheet models. Predictive analytics converts data into actionable and usable information. It determines the possible future outcome of an event or the possibility of a situation. It includes various statistical techniques from machine learning, data mining, modeling, and game theory, and include techniques that use models created from past data to predict the future or determine the impact of one variable on another. When it comes to businesses, these models use the patterns found in transactional and historical data for identifying opportunities and risks. They allow risk assessment by capturing relationships between various factors. The three basic cornerstones of this analytics are predictive modeling, decision analysis and optimization, and transaction profiling. An example to use this analytics can be to optimize customer relationship management systems. Some other examples include a company that can create a mathematical model for predicting the future sales by using past data on product sales and a food manufacturing company that can estimate the measurement and quality of unit sales by using the point-of-sale scanner data from retail outlets. A few other examples include an organization that can predict the market share of a new product by using the survey data and past purchase behavior. Using predictive analytics, these organizations can analyze the spending, use, and behavior of customers. This leads to effective cross-sales and high profitability. An organization must employ an experts team or data scientists to find and access the appropriate data. This team can work with business leaders for designing business strategies by using predictive analytics techniques, such as time series analysis, linear regression, data mining techniques, and simulation or risk analysis. Prescriptive analytics uses mathematical sciences, machine learning, business rules, and big data for making decisions and suggesting decision options. It specifies the best course of action for a business activity in the form of the output of a prescriptive model. It goes beyond predicting the outcomes of future and also suggests the action to benefit from the predictions. It anticipates the reason of an incident and not just what and when it will happen. It can also suggest decision options on the method to take the benefit of a future opportunity or to mitigate a risk of the future. The models used in this analytics are called optimization models and combine various business rules, mathematical models, and data. The input can be internal data, external data, and various other sources. Here are some example industries in which this analytics is used. The airline industry can benefit by using revenue management models and past purchasing data as inputs to get the best pricing strategy across all flights. Similarly, the finance industry can use portfolio models that utilize historical investment return data to decide the mix of investments. Other examples of prescriptive analytics are supply network design models in operations and price markdown models in retailing. In operations, Supply network design models provide cost-minimizing plant and distribution center locations. Retailing use price markdown models that provide the timing of discount offers and revenue-maximizing discount levels. One of the traditional analytics applications was in supply chain management and logistics. It's used at the core of companies like FedEx and UPS. It's used for efficient delivery and optimal sorting of goods. It's also used for vehicle and staff scheduling, vehicle routing, better inventory and processing control, and efficient supply chains. Analytic tools used in this area span the complete analytics spectrum. For instance, it's been used by the women's apparel manufacturer Bernard Claus, Inc. The company used descriptive analytics for presenting its supply chain status to its managers. Another example is ConAgra Foods, a packaged foods company which used prescriptive and predictive analytics for planning its capacity utilization better 
by including the inherent uncertainty in commodities pricing. The company received 100% return on their investment in analytics in less than three months. Analytics in healthcare is used to simultaneously control cost and provide more effective treatment to patients. Predictive, prescriptive, and descriptive analytics are used to improve staff, patient, and facility scheduling. They're also used to control inventory, purchasing, and patient flow. For instance, as per the McKinsey Global Institute, or MGI, and McKinsey and Company 14 study, by better utilizing analytics, the United States healthcare system could save more than $300 billion each year, which is equivalent to the complete gross domestic product of countries such as Singapore, Finland, and Ireland. Marketing is one of the expanding areas to apply analytics. A better understanding of customer behavior by using data generated from social media and scanner data leads to several advantages such as better use of advertising budgets, effective pricing strategies, improved demand forecasting, better product line management, and increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. One of the example is automobile manufacturer Chrysler teamed with J.D. Power & Associates. They developed predictive models for supporting their pricing decisions for automobiles as they helped Chrysler to better understand the ramifications of proposed pricing structures. The models generated an estimated annual savings, of $500 million. The use of analytics in the human resources area is relatively new. With the use of analytics, the HR function ensures that the organization employs the required skill sets to meet its needs, hires the highest quality talent, provides an employee retention environment, and achieves its organizational diversity objectives. Sears Holding Corporation, or SHC, is an example in this area. It created an HR analytics team inside its corporate HR function that used descriptive and predictive analytics to support employee hiring and tracking and influencing retention. Web analytics is the analysis of online activity, such as visiting websites and social media sites like LinkedIn and Facebook. It has huge implications for promoting and selling products and services through the Internet. Some points to remember are that leading companies use descriptive and advanced analytics to data collected in online experiments for determining the best way for configuring websites, position ads, and using social networks to promote products and services. Online experimentation includes exposing various subgroups to various website versions and tracking the results. These experiments prove to be ineffective as they allow the company to use the trial and error method in statistically determining what makes a difference in their website traffic and sales. Why is decision making in any business very important? The goal of business decision making is to high revenue, low costs, and low expenses. It's supported by business analytics in various ways, such as for increasing revenue while keeping selling expenses the same. Business analytics suggest changes in the Salesforce deployment. It can also be used if a company's employees are leaving voluntarily for higher paying jobs and there are high onboarding costs. In such cases, business analytics recommends raises that can help retain existing employees. Business intelligence, or BI, refers to reporting and analytics tools, traditionally used for determining historical data trends. These techniques and tools are used to transform raw data into useful information for the purpose of business analysis. It includes a set of processes, methodologies, technologies, and architectures that uses the output of the information management processes. The technologies can handle large amounts of unstructured data for identifying, developing, and otherwise creating new strategic business opportunities. BI enables queries by which users can get results by asking data-related questions. It allows easy data interpretation of high amounts of data while implementing an effective strategy based on insights that can help a business gain a competitive advantage. BI includes tools that are designed to present the results of analytics in an understandable format. They provide historical, current, and predictive views of business operations. Some functions include online analytical processing, process mining, prescriptive analytics, text mining, business performance management, and benchmarking. Data science includes processes, principles, and methods to understand phenomena through automated data analysis. It allows data-driven decision-making, or DDD, which determines the productivity of an organization. 
DDD is the practice of basing decisions on data analysis instead of just intuition. Organizations get involved in DDD to lesser or greater degrees, which decides the productivity of the organizations. The given image shows how data science interacts with the outer world. Let's now talk about the importance of data science. You can consider data science a business asset that is about data investment. An understanding of its fundamental concepts is required for data scientists and anyone working with data scientists, employing data scientists, investing in data-heavy ventures, or directing an analytics application in an organization. DDD and big data technologies improve business performance substantially. Data science supports DDD and, at times, performs such decision-making automatically. With respect to data science, the key strategic assets are data and the ability to extract useful information from data. Many businesses use data analytics to get value from the existing data and to generally consider if the business has the right analytical talent. Incorrect data and unsuitable data science talent results in issues such as poor decisions. Big data typically refers to data sets that are too large for traditional data processing systems. Its technologies are considered as a popular platform for data analytics and data exploration and used to implement data mining techniques and data processing. These technologies are also used to process data in support of the data mining techniques and other data science activities. Nowadays, companies that employ big data technologies have started asking, what can I now do that I couldn't do before, or do better than I could do before? Therefore, it's possible the golden era of data science. Different types of analytical tools available are listed on the screen. These are open source software, have object-oriented design, and can be linked with general programming platforms. They also offer extensibility and various other features. Let's summarize the topics covered in this lesson. Business analytics is a scientific process that transforms data into insight. Descriptive analytics includes techniques that explain what has happened in the past. Predictive analytics includes techniques that predict the future by using models created from past data or determine the impact of one variable on another. Prescriptive analytics, the final phase of business analytics, specifies the best course of action for a business activity in the form of the output of a prescriptive model. It utilizes the techniques of descriptive and predictive analytics to anticipate the future of a business and to suggest optimal decision options on the basis of such predictions. Analytics tools are used in logistics and supply chain management in many companies. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.